The world's biggest shipping firms face a major gamble this weekend over whether to risk waiting for the Suez Canal to reopen. As new satellite images show, the global thoroughfare remains blocked by a massive cargo ship, and the cost to trade is adding up fast. CBS News' Elizabeth Palmer has more. The gargantuan ever given remains exactly where she's been wedged since Tuesday, blocking the main channel of the Suez Canal. But there has been a little progress. Dredgers and diggers have dug away more than 20,000 tons of sand from around the ship's rudder. And its stern did move a little, Suez Canal Chairman Osama Rabi told journalists at a press conference. He added that there were now 321 ships waiting to enter the canal from both ends. This is an expensive traffic jam, and it's building. Normally, about 50 ships pass through the Suez Canal each day, carrying 12% of the world's trade. So every 24 hours of shutdown means $10 billion in lost revenue. The Ever Given is carrying more than 18,000 containers. Salvage experts hope they won't have to start unloading them to reduce the weight. For now, they're pumping water from the ballast tanks and hoping a combination of more powerful tugs and a high tide tomorrow may at last refloat this boat. Elizabeth Palmer, CBS News, Tel Aviv.